All right, guys, it's crunch time for the Maker Fair. I just wanted to share something before I buttoned up my TRS-80. I got this keyboard here, the uh, 12C018C. It's a uh, Alps keyboard. And then this is the regular TRS-80 Model 3 keyboard, which is also an Alps. The part number on this one is 12KE010C. Now, if you guys have messed around with TRS-80 keyboards, you might know that these things right here, the original ones kind of suck. The uh, the key switches aren't very good. They need repaired and they're super proprietary, so you can't just find uh, key switches for them. They're, they were only used in like this keyboard. Well, this one right here, I, I randomly got this on eBay and uh, I didn't look too closely. I, I just looked at the keyboard configuration. I'm like, yeah, this is a, a TRS-80 Model 3 keyboard. What I didn't notice was this right here. Now my uh, my regular keyboard, the, the factory one on my TRS-80 Model 3, this connector, the, the uh, keyboard cable was hardwired to this. It wasn't a, a removable, unpluggable wire. But the, the best part about this keyboard is, is this right here. These are the key switches that are on the regular factory keyboard. They're unobtainable and they're known to just go out. The conductive material inside on the rubber dome just wears out. And uh, if you want to fix it, you kind of got to, you could pull them apart and paint conductive material on the domes, you know, a hundred times. That's super fun. Um, I feel sorry for you guys that have to do that. I mean, I was about to do it, but I kind of feel like I lucked out because this other keyboard that I got uses these switches right here. And uh, a guy on Reddit identified my switches just from a, a brief glimpse that I had at a key switch. And these are Alps SKCC Cream key switches, which they used on several other uh, vintage computers and calculators. They're way easier to find. And um, judging off of the performance of this keyboard, every single key on the keyboard worked. I think these are probably just more dependable. Actually, no, no, I'm sorry. The space bar didn't work when I got the keyboard. So I removed the uh, numeric keypad number nine and swat, uh, swapped it with the space bar so that I'd have a functional keyboard. But uh, lucky for me, this one got sent to me. Actually, this is, he sent me two of them, so I have a spare, which is great. But uh, yeah, if, if you guys if you guys see this keyboard and you got a Model 3, I suggest you, you pick it up. Um, I, I don't know if this was like a super late Model 1 or maybe a, a replacement you got at the Radio Shack. You know, I, after a couple years after the Model 3 came out or what? Because I haven't found any other information on this keyboard on the, on the internet. Anyway, I'll have some cool videos. I'm probably going to do a live stream from the Maker Fair here. That's going to be on Saturday. So we'll see you guys next time.